جرفت سلطات الاحتلال الإسرائيلية مئات Israeli occupation forces bulldozed hundreds of Muslim gravestones under the pretext that the confiscated land belongs to Israel. The following report by Ruba El Mimi. مقبرة مأمن الله الإسلامية في القدس. The Muslim Mamilla Cemetery in Jerusalem holds the history of the city, dating back to Islam's conquest. Its graves are being bulldozed and destroyed by the Israeli occupation forces, which have destroyed over 300 graves in the past few days. The bulldozers of the occupation, backed by police, broke into the cemetery with the approval of an Israeli court that rejected a petition to halt the destruction of the graves. Prominent figures from the Muslim Jerusalemite community and the Islamic movement in Israel blasted the decision and called for the protection of the grave sites. A police officer said that the law is on their side and they must remove these graves. I asked him if the grave site is old and contains thousands of bodies. Dig and you will find people in this cemetery. However, Israeli bulldozers decided to break the will of the Palestinian resistance and bulldoze the Palestinian who was trying to prevent the destruction of one of the gravestones. They got close to the grave, so I stood in front of it, and they dragged me along with the grave. Israel is aware of the scale of the crime it has committed against the cemetery. For this reason, it sends its forces to implement the demolition at night, just like bats. The Mamil Cemetery has a long history, and it's still important today. In turn, when it is violated, the history of Jerusalem is being violated. This is what Israel wants. This is terrorism against the dead and the living. This is inconceivable. We respect the graves of the Jewish people all over the world. Look at how our graves are being violated here. This is the largest Muslim cemetery in Jerusalem. It contains over 70,000 martyrs, in addition to a number of Prophet Muhammad's companions and scientists. Israel is initiating settlement projects on the cemetery, stripping it from 70 percent of its total surface and exhuming its graves to build instead what it called the Museum of Tolerance, the Independence Park, in addition to public restrooms. Today, its latest plan is a court of justice, the dead and martyred Muslims being the first of its oppressed. Even the dead in this holy city don't peacefully rest due to the Israeli aggressions. The living are now trying to protect, with their own bodies, thousands of their dead.